Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your hip joint. So the first exercise we're going to do is take your fingers and do this at home as you're watching. Take your fingers and point on your body to your hip joint. Where is the closest place that you can point to on yourself where your hip joint is? So if you take your fingers, oh, where do you think your hip joint is? So Trish, where do you think most people think their hip joint is? Somewhere there, right? Maybe somewhere there. Yeah, I've seen that before too. Couple different uh, opinions on where the hip joint is. So as a rider, why do you think it would be important to know where your hip joint is? Well, when you're riding, you are constantly using your hip joint and you are either using it relatively well or not so well. And where you think your hip joint is can have a big effect on how you move your pelvis. So let's actually find where is the hip joint. So if I take this femur and I place it on the front of my leg, like this, can you see where this red ball is? This femur is a little, slight, slightly big for me, but can you see where this ball is? This is the femur head or where the femur connects into the pelvis. So if I had a socket over top of the femur head, this would be where the hip joint is. So can you see if I take it away and now point on my body, it's actually right here in the front. So much more medial than a lot of people think. They usually think it's lateral or on the outside of the body. So how do you find the hip joint? A nice and easy way to do it is if you hinge forward, so going forward, hinge forward, and you're gonna put your fingers in the deepest part of the resulting hip crease. Yeah, exactly. So if Trish goes forward, perfect, and she's gonna put her fingers into the deepest part of the hip crease, and then if she comes back up, you can see, oh yeah, that's about where the hip joint is. So you're gonna think about your hip joints and moving from your hip joint. So if you take your thumb away and just keep your fingers there, perfect. I'm gonna put him into walk, and you're gonna visualize walking from your hip joints. So embodying where the hip joints are, visualizing you're walking from this place. So now Trish, what if you take your hands to another place where you think your hip joints could have been? Yeah, so the outside, now walk from your hip joints there. Walk from your hip joints, walk from your hip joints. How does that feel? Feels uh, more side to side. Right. Um, yeah. Good. So now take your hands back to where the hip joints are. Walk from your hip joints there. And how does that feel? So it feels uh, more front to back. It feel I feel more stable uh, in the saddle, and uh, my legs feel quieter. Good. Perfect. Awesome. So I'll take you back down. So that's just a very quick and easy way that you can find your hip joints. Give that a try on your own. Walking from your hip joints, riding from your hip joints, where they actually are, then versus walking from them in a different place where you thought they used to be. And you should be able to notice a big change in your movement. So I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please leave me a comment below. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time.